self-transcendence. The essence of the gospel message and the essence of the experience of meditation is not self-analysis, but self-transcendence. As Jesus puts it, if anyone would be a follower of mine, he must leave self behind. Now a great deal of the interest in the spiritual life in our time has a psychological origin. People are often interested in what prayer and what meditation can teach them about themselves. And it's very easy for people of our generation to see everything in terms of self-improvement, self-understanding and so forth. In fact, of course, this fascination that we have for looking at ourselves can be disastrous for the spiritual journey. There's a real danger that if we take up meditation and then do begin to see that we are understanding ourselves better and then begin to follow this line of discovery we quickly find that we've left the pilgrimage of meditation which is a pilgrimage into unlimited knowledge and wisdom and we find that we end up stuck in the limited knowledge of isolation, our own isolation. And there's a very real danger for us that we can become, as it were, entranced by ourselves, by our own mental operations. So entranced that we forget that we're on a pilgrimage into the mystery of God. As Jesus puts it, if anyone would be a follower of mine, he must leave self behind. Now there's no doubt that there is something arduous and demanding about this journey. It requires nerve to take the attention off yourself, to let go of your ideas and to gaze wholeheartedly ahead. The person meditating is like the eye that can see but cannot see itself. And so this is a journey that requires faith, that is, commitment. And the commitment is to what is beyond yourself, what is greater than yourself. And so the journey requires humility. The humility to stop thinking about yourself. And what this means is that as we advance on the journey, we must continually let go of what we think we have achieved. The problem is when we start. We're always concerned with our progress, with how perfectly we are fulfilling the techniques and so forth. But we must learn that we have to let go. And this is the challenge. And it's the challenge that in practical terms requires us to keep saying the mantra from the beginning of our meditation until the end. Now that's something that you must understand absolutely clearly. If you want to learn to meditate, 
It's necessary to meditate every day, every morning and every evening. And it's necessary while you're meditating to say the mantra from the beginning until the end. And whatever thoughts come into your mind, whether they're good thoughts, religious thoughts, holy thoughts or bad thoughts, let them go and say the mantra. And that means that we avoid all the business of rating ourselves in terms of success or failure, in terms of progression or regression. Meditating is the way of learning just to be. To be who you are in the presence of God. To be who you are in complete simplicity. And that's what the mantra leads us to when we learn to be faithful to it. Thank you.